Hey guys, and welcome back. Um, as you saw on yesterday's IG stories, you noticed I put up a little picture and I said we're gonna do something special today. Um, most of us always show the good stuff, rarely do we show the bad stuff. And even the client that came in to see me, she's like, how come I never seen this online? Um, some of the reasons is if their procedure has gone wrong, if you see side effects, chances are the provider or the practice isn't gonna show it. They don't wanna show anything that's gone wrong. Um, for me, I believe in honesty and there's always side effects and there's always adverse reactions to any procedure that you do. So you just have to weigh the risk profile. Um, but we'll just throw all that aside and we'll just speak specifically about this patient today. So what happened was she went over to another country. Um, she was visiting there and while she was visiting there, um, she got motivation to do treatments that she's never done ever. So she's never done Botox, fillers, lasers, but the five months that she was there, she just did absolutely everything. Actually five weeks that she was there, she did absolutely everything. So a little bit of the backstory is she had Botox done, fillers done, lasers done, and specifically for this treatment, she had threads done. So back in April, she had threads placed in her neck. She had some lumps, she had some bumps. She came back, I think subsequently a couple of weeks later, and the physician said, hey, um, what we can do is we can try to lift it up further, and then hopefully that will resolve some of the bumps. Well, come April, May, and now it's uh, June, mid-June, and she's still having the lumps. Um, she contacted me on email, and I said, hey, honestly, if you leave it alone, it's not gonna go away. It's probably gonna be there for the next four to six months. Because one, it's place. actually, I won't even get into the whys yet, but it will last there for four to six months. The way she tried to resolve it is she did thermage. So heating it extensively, she went to another med spa, they heated it, she spent even more money, and then it didn't go away. So she came into the office and any procedure, it's almost like putting a fingerprint on what the provider did. So when I see something, I could pretty much assume or guess what they did. What happened in this instance was, if you're putting threads in the neck area, one, the neck is very thin, and then two, you can see it, it's curved. It's not a flat line. So what my assumption on third was, and I asked her about it, but the thing in the, this country that she did it in, they put her under anesthesia. So she was asleep the whole time, which is very curious. Um, that's another risk in itself to do a very minimal invasive procedure, but to put someone under, that's just another risk. So she doesn't really know what happened, but my assumption is they used through and through threads and also how they placed it. So if you place threads from here to here, you have a solid straight vector. If you can assume my fingers are threads, if you place them on the side of the neck, they can lay relatively flat. If you place the thread anterior to this area, you see this curve. So if you have this very thick hard thread sitting right here, it's trying to curve over your neck. But the thread in the first couple months, they are very hard depending on the gauge of threads that you use. So you can imagine a thick thread that doesn't want to bend sitting right on the front of your neck. There's where it's poking out, there's where it's poking out. And I'll put a picture somewhere here. I'll probably put it down here in the bottom corner here that you can see it. There's a thread sitting right here and it doesn't want to flex. So it's poking at the front end, it's poking at the back end, and you can see it varies throughout her neck. Now, the other part of this is how they placed it. If you place it too superficially within the neck, especially down here, when I treat the upper third of the neck, plenty of thick tissue you can hide the thread. Bottom two thirds of the neck, one, you have a different type of adhesion, the stickiness of the skin, and it also becomes very, very thin once you get to the lower portion here. And that's where her thread was sitting, in this thinner skin. And because it was poking out, it was causing her pain. So I, after we discussed it, I gave her some options. I said, hey, you can leave it alone. It's not really going to do anything to you. It's going to cause you a little discomfort, but it is going to last four to six months. Because of how superficial it is, I can probably go in there and grab it. No big deal. However, what are the risk? Bruising, swelling, can I find it? Because when you place a thread under their skin, it's it's like a needle in a haystack. You just have to search, 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 and finally you can find it. But in her instance, because it was so superficial, I was able to grab it pretty easily. Now, what are the takeaways in this? I've talked about in numerous videos, what, uh, I don't wanna say complications, but if you do something abroad, one of the main criteria for patients is the price point. I asked her, what's the price point? And I said, and she told me the price. I said, between that in itself, the threads, it's already higher than what I charge for threads here. So price point, throw that out the window. The second part is, look what she's gone through. She's paid for a follow-up laser and she's had to deal with this. 
So between the lasers, all the complications she's gone through, I doubt it was worth it for her to do it at that price point. Now, the most important part, and I mentioned this over and over and over, you can do something abroad and it may look tremendous, but if you run into a side effect or you run into an issue, what are the opportunities for you to follow it up? Are you gonna fly back to the other country? Are you gonna jump across the border? How are you gonna follow up the situation? If you can't find a provider who is willing to do it, or what did they say? I don't know what's in there. I'm not gonna go find it. I don't know how they placed it. I'm not gonna deal with it. Because most providers, you don't wanna deal with the questions and the unknowns of what's going on. For me, because I have a history enough with PDO threads, and by the way it was done, I have a pretty good educated guess on what happened. So we would dealt with it pretty well. But those are kind of the two criteria I always talk about. Yes, it's price point. But if it's done incorrectly, you're going to end up paying more anyways. And if you have complications, how are you going to resolve it when your practice, your provider is thousands of miles away? So that was a pretty cool thing. Um, very fortunately, she was able to resolve it. Very sweet lady. Uh, there's probably a couple more threads that we have to deal with. But in the end, we were able to resolve it well. But really think about it when you get procedures done overseas. I'll talk to you guys on the next episode. Bye.